the question is, how do you keep track of all the great people that you meet and to have a systems approach? Are you an engineer? I'm not. Oh. But I'm <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, to your networking, and that is an excellent question because it, there are so many people. I have, I, I must have at least close to 3,000 people on LinkedIn. And, and many of us are so inundated, right? You know, people tell me, oh, I have you know, 500 people on Facebook, whatever the number is. But not all of those people are your friends. And it's not so much about who you know, and it's not even about who knows you. I know you guys were thinking that, right? It's about who knows you. <laughs> it's, really, it's really about who will vouch for you, who will be there for you, spend their political capital to help you. And in order to do that, you need to really f be strategic even about how you manage your relationships. So I have a, a system that I use myself, and I've broken it down into three different categories uh, where I call the inner circle contacts, my ICCs. And so these are the people who I have a lot of respect for. They are truly my biggest supporters, advocates, they will expend their political capital to help me. Does everybody know what I'm talking about when I say political capital? Yeah, you guys are brilliant. So, <laughs> so, so the, these, are, these are the people, if I have a, a, a recommendation or for something that's really important, that I know I can pick up the phone and call, and they will return my call, right? So those, those are my ICCs. And then I have the, and so for people who are in what I call that inner circle, and your inner circle may be a little different depending on where you are in your life stage, uh, you want to make sure that you stay in contact with them. This is a, should be a small group of people. It's not the whole, we are the world. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a small group of people who you send information to. You share, it's, again, in the spirit of giving. You see something that, that you think would be of interest to them, an article or whatever, you send it to them or, or just alert them to it. They may not respond right away or at all, but that's okay because you're still uh, making positive deposits in that relationship. And so you, these are also the people, if they ask you to do something, you find a way to make it happen. Because these are the people who are there for you and you want to be there for them. So uh, they may say, hey, I want you to, to have lunch with Jennifer. She's doing X, Y, Z. Can you talk to her about, uh, you know, A, B, C? And you said, absolutely, because you want to make sure that you're, you're helping them because they're always helping you. So that's your inner circle. And the difference between, I'm not going to go through the entire, but you, so think of that as the highest tier. The lower tier are, these are people with whom you want to stay visible, but you don't necessarily want to expend your time. There isn't necessarily the, a higher, a high degree of trust there. You may not know them well. They may not, uh, you may not even remember who they are, quite frankly, like if I looked at my LinkedIn, it's like, who is that person? When did I meet them? You know, some, <laughs> some of these people I don't know, but you can still be visible to them and still stay connected by sending out your occasional updates on what's happening, on responding to when they have a job change or what have you, saying congratulations. So you might hear from this, I strongly recommend LinkedIn. I think that the LinkedIn is the, the tool for business professionals. I know there are so many tools for social media, and particularly for millennials, and I know millennials well, my daughters are millennials, uh, <laughs> the, that you, you can think, oh, well, nobody does email anymore, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? The people who are making the decisions, they still use email. Uh, the people with <laughs> <laughs> newsflash, and, and, and they are on LinkedIn as well. So you use the tools uh, for the, that, well, in my case, it's business, so, so that it's LinkedIn. But if you're an engineer, there may be a different you know, social network that's really uh, big for engineers. Whatever that is, is the one you want to be on. And you want to strategically manage how you interact and your periodic, periodic reaching out uh, with the, most, the least amount of time for the people who you're not really vested in. So that's just a high level, but there, there are lots of other uh, options in which to manage. The, the key thing is to find a way to manage it, or you will spend all of your time spinning and responding to people who, you know, it's like, who are these people? <laughs> and so, so spend your time on the people who matter and vice versa.